Hello first grade, I hope that you are feeling ready for some math today. We are going to talk about a new strategy. Now we've talked a little bit about it at school, but we're going to practice it at home today. This math strategy, or a way that we can solve some new problems, is by using doubles. Now a double is when we take a number and we double it. We do it two times, like two plus two. Doubles can be so helpful when we're solving math problems. If we know our doubles, if we have them memorized in our head, they can help us to solve all kinds of problems. We're gonna talk a little bit more later about why, but first I just want to show you some examples and let's get our hands working with some math tools to practice some of our doubles right now. Okay, the goal with all of our math learning today and for this unit is to be able to use mental math to have our doubles memorized because that will really help us to solve lots of math problems moving forward. Now, right now, what I want you to get out and hopefully you have it at home with you is your math tools, your 10 frame should be in your math tool bag along with your colored counters. We're going to use these to practice some doubles this morning. We're using our 10 frame strategy right now. So if you don't have these things out, you probably don't because why would you? Um, take a moment, pause the video and go get these things so that you can be ready to practice along with me. All right, here's the strategy we're going to be using this morning, using a 10 frame to help us solve and the kinds of problems we are working on are going to be doubles. So get your 10 frame ready. Let's just practice some. Maybe you're already thinking and you're excited because you know some doubles in your head. That is fantastic. If you don't know any, that's okay. That's what we're doing this week. We're gonna practice a lot with them so we can start to use them in our problems. Let's start with a simple one. Let's do two plus two. When I show my doubles on my 10 frame, I am going to do one set in one color and the other number in my other color. Two plus two. One, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Thank you to our 10 frame for helping us solve. I'm gonna call out another one and I'm gonna give you a moment to see if you can solve it. Ready? Make sure you're using two different colors. This time, do three plus three. Hopefully you're getting out two different colors to help you solve. Three plus three. Let's do it together and see if you got it. I'm gonna start with reds, one, two, three. Now I need to double it with yellows, one, two, three. How many do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you get the right answer? Give yourself a pat on the back if you did. Let's try another. How about this time? See if you can build and show me on your 10 frame four plus four. four plus four. I'm gonna build it here with my two colors. One, two, three, four reds, plus one, two, three, four yellows. How many all together? This time when I count, instead of counting one by one, I'm gonna use a different strategy I know to help me. I know in my 10 frame that these are groups of five. So I'm gonna count on. I know I have five, six, seven, eight. Four reds plus four yellows equals eight. All right, I'm gonna have you try one final one by yourself. Let's try five plus five. I want you to build it in your 10 frame with two different colors, five plus five. Let's 
Let's see if you got it right. One, two, three, four, five reds plus one, two, three, four, five yellows. And my 10 frame is filled, which I know means that my answer must be 10. How are you doing solving those doubles? Are you getting them right? Maybe you're thinking, this is really easy. I already know the doubles in my head. That's okay. If you don't need to use the 10 frame strategy to help you out, then don't use it. Maybe you know mental math and you have these numbers in your head. That's even better. I'm going to show you one more quick example of why knowing our doubles can be so helpful for us. If we know doubles, we should be able to solve problems that have near doubles. That means numbers that are close to our doubles. So let me show you an example of what I mean. Here's a problem that I need to solve. 3 plus 4. Oh, if only it said 3 plus 3. I know that one. It's a double. It's 6. That is going to actually help me to solve this problem. Because 4 is so close to the number 3, we call this a near double. And if I know that my double 3 plus 3 3 equals 6, it's really going to help me out because my number 4 is only one number higher than my number 3. So what I'm actually going to do in my head to figure this out is to take my 3 plus 3. I know that's 6. Now I just need to add one more to find my answer. 3 plus 3 equals 6. If I count on one more, it's 7. That can help me solve this problem of three plus four. Let me show you the same thing now on your 10 frame. You don't need to follow along, just watch this one. Here's my 10 frame back to help me. I'm gonna set it up as three plus three because that's the double that I know. Now all I need to do to help me solve is to add one more because my problem said three plus three. Now my 10 frame should match my answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's double check that it does. Did I get the same answer here? Yes, I did. We always want to make sure our problems match in math. We are going to be practicing a lot with our doubles and our near doubles. This is the very first day that I'm showing it to you. So if you need more practice, that's okay. I don't want you to feel stressed out. We're going to be doing it a lot so that we really get these numbers in our heads so that we can become even better mathematicians. Now, I don't have any work for you to practice in your workbook today. I just have one job for you to do. That job is to go on to your seesaw and there is one problem on there that I want you to try. What I would like for you to do when you try it is to show me a couple different strategies. I would like for you to draw a picture that matches the problem and then I would like you to solve the problem and write in the answers as well. Okay, the picture can really help you out. Even if you want to use a 10 frame, you can to help you solve the problem. If you want to use your fingers to help you solve, that's okay too. You pick the strategy that works for you. I want to see a picture on it so that way I can see a strategy on your seesaw. So that's your job. After the video's over, get onto your seesaw, find that math problem, draw a picture, and solve and I can't wait to see it and see if you got it right. Good luck.